since that's the inner area of the project, we're going to have to create the wall thickness. Since we use the polyline right away, we can do that by using the offset tool. So type in OFF for offset, press enter. We're going to specify a distance and our thickness of our outside walls are going to be one foot. So press one, enter, and then we're going to click on the outside of the house object. So I'm going to click it with the left click. And you'll notice if you hover outside, you create a one foot offset going that way. Otherwise, if you hover inside, you'll create a one foot offset going the other way. So since we want it to be on the exterior, we're going to make sure we're outside our structure. And then we're going to click once and press escape twice. So what you're left with are the exterior walls of the house. We're going to add in the interior walls now. Let's use the line tool, line, enter. And starting from this corner over here, we're going to move out this way. And another way we can do things as well, and I didn't mention this before, is we can just type in the number if we've clicked the starting point. So if I type in 15 feet and press enter, it will go out 15 feet. And if I go upward, go a total of 15 feet, 15, enter, you'll notice that it snapped that into place. I'm going to press escape a few times to break out of that. And the cool thing is your last command is kind of saved. So if I press enter again, I'll reactivate the line tool. I don't have to actually type it in again. So for the master bathroom, let's go out seven feet this way. We're going to go down a total of 12 feet, and then we're going to connect it to the adjacent wall like that, just to give us a hallway here, because over here is going to kind of be our, in a sense, our laundry room. So three feet minimum, just got to keep that in mind. And we're going to draw in our line over to here. Okay. I'm going to press escape once. We're going to draw in, enter a kitchen space. Okay, for the hallway, we're going to reactivate our line tool, enter. I'm going to make sure that there's four feet of space here. So one, two, three, four foot opening. Then I'm going to travel down up until this point and also make sure we have a three foot opening here. I'm going to close this off. So this here is going to be our kitchen space. Press escape once. Travel three feet underneath that, press enter. And I'm going to draw out another room here. This room is going to be slightly smaller. So since we have 32 feet to work out with, and we need to allocate about seven or so for the bathroom, let's just say eight. So we have 24, so we're going to make this 12. And then I'm going to go down like that. And I'm going to press escape. And then I'm going to reactivate the line tool and I'm going to travel eight units or 12 from this point here. And I'm going to go down like this. Click that. Press escape. Enter again. This here is going to just be a closet space for both rooms. And I'll separate that. So a line there, escape, enter, line there and then enter, and then align up here. This here is going to be a bathroom for both rooms. And here is our living space. And that looks pretty good. Since we're working with interior walls now, the thickness of these walls are typically thinner than the exterior. But let's go ahead and add them. Use the offset command, OFF, enter. And we're going to do a half foot increment for the majority of these walls, so 0.5. Enter, and I want you to just kind of add in that thickness. Don't care really much about overlap right now. Just go ahead and create the thickness of those interior walls, like so. Okay, the only thing we're going to do here is we're going to make this half the distance because we don't want, you know, one closet to be slightly larger than the other. So let's delete that one and use the offset command to offset that a total of 0.25 this way as well as that way. Okay, so you still got that half foot increment. And then for this one, 
point five enter that way. Okay, so for the most part, it looks like the majority of our walls have been dis divided pretty well. Let's go ahead and trim off the excess. So I'd like you to use the trim command, go type TR for trim, press enter, and then I want you to click once, hover, and click again to select the entire object, press enter to activate the trim command. And what this is gonna allow you to do is trim off any unwanted excess. So since we want all our interior walls to be connected to one another, we're gonna trim off anywhere where there's a line overlap. So I'm just kind of going around and selecting that. I'm gonna keep them separated from my exterior walls, but everything else is getting trimmed out. So we're just gonna have one large continuous interior wall. Just like that. And if there's any place where it doesn't let you crop it, like this line here, that's perfectly fine. Just press escape a few times and you should be able to just select the wall, press the delete, and it should be now deleted. Okay, and that's the interior structure of our house. Before we extrude this object, it's generally a good rule of thumb to create a copy of it. Just in case we need it later, we won't have to create any of the lines again. We'll just have a copy we can use to, to extract parts off of. To use the copy command, type in C-O-P-Y, copy, press enter, then go ahead and click, hover, and click to select the entire object, press enter again to activate copy, and then using a reference point, a reference point being like this corner over here, I'm gonna click on that, and then drag the object over here and click again. Press escape twice, and now we've created a, an identical copy just in case we need it, and we'll find out if we need it later. Okay, so we're ready to extrude. Go ahead, hold in the, the shift on the keyboard, click the middle scroll wheel of the mouse and hold that in as well and rotate your screen. That's by holding shift and holding the middle scroll wheel of the mouse and then kind of just rolling your mouse. So we have this kind of 3D isometric view of this, of this portion of the floor plan. We're gonna extrude our walls by going EXT for extrude, enter, and then what I'd like you to do is select the exterior most wall and then the second most exterior most wall, press enter. And if you did so correctly, you'll notice you're able to extrude downward or upward. And in this case, we wanna go up. We wanna go a total of 12 feet. So I'm gonna type in 12 and I'm gonna press enter. If you did so correctly, you'll notice that your object now has some height to it. That's great. I'm gonna press escape twice and we're gonna take a look at that in the shaded view. So over here where it says 2D wireframe, I'm going to click on it and go over to shaded. Click on that. You'll notice that it did actually extrude those exterior walls, but unfortunately it extruded everything else as well. So that's not very useful for what we're trying to do. Not a problem. We're going to subtract that interior portion. To do that, we're going to use the subtract command, S-U-B for subtract. I'm going to press enter and subtract then the entire object. So I'm gonna click on the entire object. Then I'm gonna press enter and I'm gonna subtract the interior of the object. So I'm gonna to go to the interior section. I'm gonna click there and I'm gonna press enter. And if you did so correctly, you should now have a hollowed out, uh, hollowed out wall, exterior wall section. Okay, let's go ahead and add in some doors and windows. We're just going to use this face here as a reference to draw those in. So what I'd like you to do is use the rectangle tool, R-E-C for rectangle, enter. Hover over this face here so that it's lit up and it's blue as you can currently tell. And then just somewhere starting at the bottom, I'd like you to click and draw upward to draw the door. The first dimension is the width of the door, which is typically three feet. So I'm gonna write three. I'm gonna press tab on the keyboard and then the height of the door which is typically eight feet. I'm gonna press eight, I'm gonna press enter, and it's gonna generate the doorway. I'm gonna press enter again to reactivate the, the rectangle tool. I'm gonna to go over this wall. Now make sure it's lit up. If it's not, you're gonna be clicking on the wrong object or the wrong surface. 
and I'm going to click there and same deal. This window over here, we're going to specify at three feet width tab and we're going to specify five feet height enter. So we've generated a window as well as a doorway. Now that both of those are in place, let's go ahead and adjust their location.